It's one of the great questions. Am I dreaming or not? What is this? What is this was one of the great uh, koans, early koans, and I suppose it's the great human first question. What is this? You get born. What is this? (laughs) So what is this? And in, uh, you notice in um, Zhuangzi, you notice that the questions, are, you know, answers are a dime a dozen, but a good question is hard to find. You know? um, that, that there's a quality of staying in the question and loving and trusting the question, and the feeling that oh, the uncertain, the feeling of the uncertainty, is actually valued, you know because you're not yet making a false world when you don't know. And it's not like ignorance is valued, it's just that there's something before true and false and right and wrong and those things. And, and Chan came out of that. And, uh, and you notice that if, in the drunk, sir, there's, there's a there's a whole lot about evening things out. So there's a lot of people with, called gap tooth or hunchback woman or things like that. And it's like, and the question is always, well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> and, uh, uh, and you can see that uh, there's an immense inclusion of everything that is life. And if you're going to have life, you're going to get gap teeth and hunchbacks and, you know, and confusion and, and stuff like that, you know. Um, cars breaking down, you know, whatever. Um, someone's car broke down, so I lent him my car, but then I, for, I forgot, oh, yeah, my car has all these flashing warning lines, lights that just go all the time. It actually means my car's fine, that's what it means in my car. <laughs> so that's like evening things out, you know. So um, I'll read you a little thing about evening things out. Uh, This is a classic story, and it's kind of silly, but um, there you are. Um, hmm. To wear yourself out illuminating the unity of all things yeah. without realizing that they're the same. That's called three in the morning. Why is it called three in the morning? There was a monkey trainer who said at feeding time you get three in the morning and four in the evening. The mon- there was an insurrection among the monkeys. They got very angry, and he said, well, okay, I'll give you four in the morning and three in the evening, and the monkeys were completely happy again. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing really was changed very much, but they're happy one way and unhappy the other. So this is why we bring yes this and no that together and rest in their equality. This is called taking two paths at once. One of the things Drung Sir says is he makes a point which is pretty good and then he pushes it too far. You know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> and, uh, but you can tell that, so that idea that the equality of your conditions is always present, you know, uh, and you're, the mind is always forming opinions. There's a, a, a column that goes, the mind is a great artist ceaselessly producing the five ways of knowing the world. You've probably been spending a lot of company with that artist this, this time. You know, form, feeling, perception, memory, consciousness. You know. um, so, um, the mind is a great artist, ceaselessly producing the ways of knowing the world. 